I know I've been posting a lot of 240 stuff, and the WRX has kind of been on hold, and most of my YouTube followers don't really know maybe that I have a WRX, but I also do have a WRX. And it's been down for like three or four years. Now we're at Fantasy College. GTR in the background. Let's check this out. Monday after grassroots. Thought I should add more WRX parts. More WRX videos, I guess. Here are the parts. It's great. I'll show you the car. Sorry this isn't black and white. You should see the color in person. Freaking gnarly. Flare, all metal work with the door. There's the engine bay, all shaped. Sunday, right before grassroots round four, and I just prepped the car. You can see new tires, old tires from the last event, brand new helmet, jack, because I drive my car to the round. Update on my way to get gas. I smell coolant and I'm dripping coolant. So now I'm rushing to the track, get the car on jack to see where it's coming from. I couldn't see it under the hood. Is that the coolant? I don't know, I don't see anything. It was dripping on the exhaust and I don't know, I'm dripping out. I cannot find this shit and it's stressing me out. If I could find it, I could fix it, but I just can't find it. Just starting. I don't normally film during practice because uh, my GoPro will die during competition. And that's if I uh, last in competition. But I did not find the coolant leak, so it's kind of stressing. Right now it's running about 190. Can't smell any coolant yet, so I bought uh, a coolant funnel and extra coolant in case something does happen. I think it's my heater core. So, uh, if it is my heater core, I'll just jump it off my motor going to the heater core so I won't have any problems, but yeah. Started with uh, some fresh tires, so I did some extra long burnouts to break them in on my run. Going against a dude in an E30, I'm not sure what kind of motor setup he has, but go. Look at my side mirror to see how close he is. I realize I'm pulling from him, so I keep going. You can tell I struggled to angle. Flick the car a little bit. Right here I wash out every run. I need more grip in the car. Normally it doesn't like that, but this event. Coming off the 3.8s. It was really hard to slow down. chase run. I don't know how fast he's going to be so I give him some space. And I see him catching him. I have to load up the car and then pull e-brake to not hit him. I'm going, going. I realize he's spinning so I slow the car down and let him spin in front of me and then I'm relaxed because I know I just won so 
you can tell this last corner I kind of straightened pretty much, but it's all right. against my buddy Matt and I'm stressing because I know he's way faster than me and he's currently in first place and I'm in third so this battle kind of matters for me and I know he's faster than me so I'm gonna warm my tires up pretty well just so I can catch him if, I, if he pulls on me He's also on stock angle, so that's another reason why he's fast. And I try to go with him right on the start, and he's pulling on me. I'm trying to catch him, trying to catch him, and clutch kick, and he just pulls away. I'm trying to catch him, so I kind of short that clipping point. And then I can always catch him in the infield. So I wish I started on his door, but yeah, I have regrets that I wasn't on his door, but he pulled away from me, so there's not much I could have done. Fuck yeah! <laughs> clip but he is on my door literally glued to me that clipping point get that clipping point start to left foot brake to get to that car right on that one and I knew it was gonna be a close one so I dragged it on the wall as close as I could without hitting it but yeah you can tell the angle differences but he is freaking on me look at that taken out it should be by the best guy this is his third first place finish out of four rounds so he definitely deserved it this is for the finals it's him and Matt and my buddy Cole and it's super awesome for Cole because this is his very first guaranteed podium this is for first and second place That one, but Cole was super stoked. So after the awards, he did a fat burnout. 